Alright, so what's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so today I am going to be showing you and reviewing the Watchpoint Gibraltar uh, Lego set, the uh, Tracer vs Widowmaker Lego set, which is of course based off of the Watchpoint Gibraltar map, with the main build being the payload which you do escort on that map. So first off, we have our Tracer figure here, comes with her two standard uh, weapons. The lightning bolt effect to show that she is um, doing the kind of teleporty thing. And then for the detail, we've just got some kind of uh, plain detailing on the legs there. Some really nice detailing with the uh, kind of reactor there. And then we of course have this hairpiece, which is really nice, really cool. And we have a smiling expression, and then like a happy expression here. So that's Tracer, of course, she does come with the newer kind of weird gun piece there. For Widowmaker, she comes with two accessories, her sniper rifle and her grappling hook, which uh, that is ability in the game. And for her sniper rifle, it doesn't really show you what to do. But I guess you can maybe uh, turn it into the machine gun. I'm not really sure if that's uh, good enough. But yes, if you have played Widowmaker or just Overwatch in general, you will know that she has uh, the sniper and the machine gun kind of thing going on there. But anyway, uh, same with Tracer. All the pieces are exclusive to her. We get this really nice molded piece of her hair and that kind of like helmet thing that she wears. We have a kind of disgruntled expression, not very happy expression. And then another expression uh, just to show that she is of course um, maybe aiming at someone, you know, kind of locking onto a target. The uh, design is quite nice. It's really cool. It's quite accurate. You've got the nice kind of spider detailing on there and just for tracer as well on the back you do have some more nice detailing on the back there as well so the actual ship itself or kind of uh, the payload is it's all right it's a nice build um i will say it is of course quite accurate to what you will see in the game, of course it is floating in the game, so uh, they made sure to incorporate that with this nice little watch point Gibraltar piece here. And for the ship, it's quite nice, you've got the Overwatch logo and some more kind of stickers running along it. There you've got the kind of boosters and it, it works pretty cool. You can, of course, um, remove these pieces here, and you can, like, place a minifigure in here. Uh, it's pretty cool, so you can have kind of like a mini control uh, panel there. Oh, um, oh, hold on. Oh, well, okay. But the coolest piece, I will say, in this is that you've got this kind of compartment at the back, which does reveal a little patch of health. Now, uh, if you played Overwatch, you'll know that these are kind of scattered around the map, and you can just pick them up to gain some health, which is pretty cool that they put this in. So, um, yeah, that is my very quick review of Watchpoint Gibraltar. And, I've got some news, I might be streaming later today. It won't be a game I regularly stream, but it will be uh, a game nonetheless. So, I'm not sure I might be able to, because, um, yeah, of course there is always a possibility that I won't be able to, but I will try to. So I will be streaming uh, later, hopefully.
So, yeah, if I um, will be able to stream later, I am going to just bring out a short little teaser. If I will be able to. So, yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later. Or in the next video. So, yeah. That's all from me. And I'll see you guys next time.